Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. You know the heat is on. It's going to be a hot Friday and Saturday, but there's some signs that we might get a little bit of relief and it might not be as hot thanks to clouds and showers. That's really what saves the day this time of year. And I'll show you why I think there's a little better chance of scattered showers, maybe even late today, but really on Saturday. One thing to notice this morning, you know, I get up and look at the satellite and radar loop and watching this weak tropical wave. It's trying to spin up a little bit near Jacksonville. There's actually a little swirl, and this is moving north. What it's doing at the very least, it's not going to turn into a tropical system, but what it is doing is spreading some cloud cover and some deep moisture into the Carolinas. Now, that's good and bad news. It's bad news because it's really raising the dew point temperatures into the low and mid-70s, so it's super muggy, and so it's going to make it feel pretty nasty out there, but it is going to help block out the sun and maybe bring some showers to cool us off. Saturday, different thing heading our way. Look to the northwest. We're kind of in this northwest track. Remember, the heat dome is centered over the middle of the country now. And so the potential that we could see some disturbances rotate down and get here into the Carolina Saturday afternoon could actually help keep us cooler. So it's still going to be hot and humid. Don't get me wrong, but it might be some saving graces here to get some afternoon showers and thunderstorms. And before I get to the chance of storms, let's talk about the heat real quickly because I want to show you the current temperatures out there just to give you an idea how hot it is because it is blazing hot in many locations. I'm recording this at 9 o'clock in the morning. We're already in the low to mid-90s. But to me, the story today, the dew point temperatures, let's zoom in and look at some of these dew points. Mid-70s dew points and even upper 70s. So that tropical wave, while the clouds are great, I'm not a big fan of the deeper moisture it's bringing in because that's going to make it feel super, super hot out there. So let's focus on the chance of storms. We'll go right to the severe weather outlook here. I'm going to turn off the satellite image. That's the severe weather outlook today. So you can see the storm track to the north. This is the tropical low or tropical wave to our south. It's just a little disturbance. But this is what we're watching for tomorrow. You can see that track up there. I'm going to turn the radar off here real quickly just to kind of focus in on everything else so again that's today's severe weather outlook let's look at tomorrow's severe weather outlook you notice that uh, the chances in the carolinas go up a little bit so that's a sign we're going to see some storms dropping uh, south from the ohio valley and we'll go into sunday that risk shifts off to the south so let's go right to the future cast all right future cast a couple things to note right off the bat you can see to our south there's our tropical wave this is going to be spreading showers north today and then look up into the northwest of us. That'll be Saturday's weather. So let's go through time. We'll go into the afternoon hours. I'll stop this mid-afternoon, um, 3, 4 o'clock. So we'll stop this at 4 o'clock. The typical thunderstorms that bubble up right on the ridge line. you can see they like clockwork. This is our, our version of the summer sea breeze on the coast and the mountains in the western Carolinas. It's every day on the ridge tops. But notice the cluster of showers developing to our south that try to move north. So the increasing moisture this evening might give us a few scattered showers, but I really think there might, could be some cloud cover from that that would help us out. So not a lot of rain today. That's why I think today is likely going to be the hottest day of this heat wave. Maybe 97, 98. The heat indices will be above 100 for sure. Now tomorrow, tomorrow looked like it was going to be our hottest day, but I'm going to show you what happens overnight tonight. The moisture from the tropical wave gets up here, but look at these lines of storms to the north. These are what we're going to watch. Now while these might not head, us, head at us initially, they're producing what we call outflow boundaries, which you've heard me talk a lot about. These are like mini cool fronts from dying storms. They leave behind boundaries that can help initiate storms. So this is these systems are working together. The tropical wave is providing the low level deep moisture. And then these mid-level disturbances and storms to the north are providing what's going to be the trigger, the match that's going to set these storms off on Saturday afternoon. So this is 6 a.m. Saturday morning clouds and some showers around in the morning but as we go into the afternoon you see things kind of calm down we start heating up around lunchtime and then we get to about two three four o'clock in the afternoon and all of a sudden that low level moisture starts getting tapped into by that thunderstorm outflow boundary and by late saturday we start to see some pretty good storms develop now this the storms again they're not widespread not everyone's gonna see rain but they're, remember they're producing clouds and helping cool the whole for, overall area so by Saturday evening, we could have some clusters of pretty good storms moving in here into Saturday night, maybe all the way into Sunday. So you could see that this setup is definitely there. I'll loop this. This is a 48-hour loop. The combination of that tropical moisture from the south and those storms complexes or the old storms to the north moving in could help set the stage for some pretty good thunderstorms on Saturday late in the day, which could 
help keep us cooler. Of course, I'll be talking about this obviously all day today at 5, 6, and 11 on WCNC Charlotte. And I'll, I'll post updates, but just be ready. There's a chance, even though it's going to be a hot, humid couple days, we could see some big time thunder boomers, especially on Saturday, maybe even Sunday afternoon.